welcome students this is dr neeraj bali and today we are going to discuss a very important concept in analytics we're going to talk about descriptive predictive and prescriptive analytics and uh, we try to distinguish them because uh, when i am taking this analytics classes Students get confused between these concepts, so I just thought just make a small video out of it, and also we try to identify some real world applications of each analytics type. So uh, let us start with descriptive analytics. What happened? That is what it answers. It focuses on summarizing historical data. and answers the question what has already occurred uses data visualization and statistical analysis so it visualizes like bar plot and uh, histograms pie diagrams talks about mean median mode so this is descriptive analytics and then there are some examples one is sales reports you know our sales reports are example of descriptive website traffic summaries annual financial statements these are all examples of descriptive analytics all these examples use historical data to analyze the previous data so this is about it and then predictive analytics it answers what could happen in future it uses historical data to forecast future trends like what will be the demand in the future for our product then employs statistical modeling and machine learning algorithms so uh, you know we can have regression or we can have some models and then we can predict the say what will be the uh future uh, requirements or what will be the raw material requirements or what will be what should be the f- uh what will be the future of f- weather forecast something like that so it is a predictive in nature it talks about the future based upon again based upon the historical data so you know students get confused descriptive is also historical predictive is also historical but what it is used for descriptive is analyzing the data historical data and talking about the nature of the data what is the mean what is the median what is the mode and then we are trying to have some graphs out of it that is analyzing the historical data predictive analytics also using the historical data but for the future what will be the future demand based upon the historical data so what it is used for is the differentiator so historical data is there in all these two previous one also historical data descriptive one and predictive also historical data descriptive is analyzing the only the historical data in terms of mean medium mode frequency like that predictive is analyzing the historical data to predict to forecast to tell the future behavior of that particular data what can happen what will be the demand in the future based upon the historical data so weather forecasting customer behavior prediction risk assessment and in insurance all these are examples of predictive analytics and the last one is prescriptive prescriptive means when we go to the doctor he will diagnose us he can find some disease and then he will prescribe some medicine it is like a cure for that problem similarly prescriptive analytics will analyze our the data and prescribe and find the solution to the problem so it recommends specific actions based on the predictive insights uses advanced algorithms and optimization techniques like linear programming model is example of optimization technique transportation model so these are some of the optimization optimization means maximization of profit and minimization of the cost it answers a very important question what is the best course of action what should we do to solve the problem example pricing strategies supply chain optimization 
personalized medical treatments. These are examples of prescriptive analytics. So now we are going to have a small comparative analysis over here. So descriptive looks backward, explains past events. Predictive looks forward, estimates future possibilities. And prescriptive provides actionable recommendations. Progression from understanding to decision making. So it is progressing, descriptive to prescriptive. It is progressing from understanding of the data to decision making. That is very critical. Now a small quiz for you guys. Can you provide an example of prescriptive analytics in a real world scenario? Answer this in your comments and let me see who can do it. And I will try to give you a thumbs up if your answer is right. Have a nice day. Good luck. Also, one key insight you can write in the comments. What you have learned from this data analytics. Any key learning. So that will be good for us. See you then. Have a nice day. And I will come back with another video in the analytics series.